your transition from weightlifting training and to into bodybuilding training. I know you said you snuck some, you know, you were sneaking some bicep curls in, you're doing that, right? So yeah. how much do you, what, what do you think the impact was on your physique? Obviously, because you're a world-class natural bodybuilder. How, what do you mm -hmm. think the impact was from your weightlifting to the build of, or at least the foundation of, you know, the physique you were bringing to the stage, which happened mm -hmm. obviously in your 20s? How mm -hmm. much of an impact do you think that had? Huge, huge impact. I mean, um, when I transitioned by, from bodybuilding to weightlifting, because it's two different disciplines. I mean, you can bring a weightlifting mentality when it comes to training into bodybuilding, because, you know, normally we'll do one rep mass, two reps, five reps. That's how far. That's how many reps we do because we do heavy loading. I mean, heavy loading almost every single day. So with bodybuilding, you got to go high volume. It's not about one. We don't really care how much you lift when you step on stage. They want to see how good you look. So I had to literally leave that body Olympic lifting ego because Olympic lifting ego is about numbers. How many? How much can you squat? How much? How much can you deadlift? How much? You know, numbers on, on snatch and clean and jerk. So when I got into bodybuilding, I realized that I can't train like a weightlifter anymore. But the foundation that I got from weightlifting was incredible. From all those squats, all those, um, you know, deadlift struggles. Everything we do in, body, in weightlifting is about legs, back, shoulders, legs, back, shoulders. So I built those foundations from Olympic weightlifting. So when I transitioned into bodybuilding, I looked like a, I looked like a triangle. No shoulders no chest, no arms, but I have all legs. I mean, the legs were just massive. And I got my pictures back from my second show and I look at myself I'm like, this is my, I'm out of line. I'm out of, out of symmetry. My quads was just too big. So I decided to create a program where I'm going to kind of slow it down on the lower body and then start working more on the upper body. I'll say it took me over five to six years to basically kind of like bring, I slow down, I'll probably walk my lower body maybe once every three weeks, you know? So I, I yeah, once every three weeks and once a, once a week. And then I walk my upper body more often. And within about five to six years, my upper body caught up and I was able to start moving deeper into Olympic, I mean, weightlifting, I mean, bodybuilding training. Got it. it. It's kind of funny because that's like the opposite problem of what a lot of yeah. bodybuilders have. So that definitely did. did have a yeah, massive impact. And yeah. it's cool. It, it's cool because a lot of like, if you look at like Sergio Oliva, Arnold, mm -hmm. these guys started in weightlifting, right? Great. Yeah, they did. They did. I mean, I, like I said, if, if I bring up a kid into eventually become a bodybuilder, I would start him in weightlifting because there's a lot of, you know, deep muscle fiber connection you know when it comes to doing olympic lifting than when it comes to doing bodybuilding and i think also what olympic lifting gave me was muscle endurance because i mean the amount of squats we do when we in the training session the amount of snatch and clean and jerk if you endurance is gone your technique is gone your strength is gone so when i got into bodybuilding the posing you know people always ask me how are you able to hold the posing for that length of time without getting tired. You know, I'm like, because I think that foundation from Olympic women, that mentality of you got to do it no matter what, even when you're tired. So that really helped me a lot, a lot in bodybuilding. One thing most people don't know, as me being a bodybuilder now and a weightlifter, you know, back then, is that bodybuilding actually got me into weightlifting, believe it or not. And actually, the legendary documentary, Pumping Iron, you know, I probably saw that movie when I was